<risa> Adivinen quién volvió. <risa> Ay, Good evening, Miss. <risa> Ay, no, solo a mí se me fue la luz, a ninguna de ustedes se le fue la luz. No. No, teacher. We're waiting for you, teacher. ¿Dónde viven? Para que me lleven. Aileen in Santa Ana. Ah, ya. Yeah. No, that's too far. Aileen in San Juan, no, no, Alfa, La Paz. No, I'd rather stay in here. Aileen, I'd rather stay in here. Pero sí veo que sí, no está, bueno, le está fallando el internet, como mencionaba Laura cuando entró a la clase, que le fallaba el internet. Yeah. Yeah. I moved to living room. I, uh, I think that by this time I'm going to do the same. Come. Yeah, but the English it's really poor. The four. All right. I'm back. Otra vez me volví a sacar. All right, girls. Let me check in here. Let me move on. Dije, Laura quiere que le explique esto y tengo que estar ahí. Dije. Yeah. All I right. just leave it you don't explain it. Uh, Cabal, cuando necesitaba su momento, Laura, falló. Ya ve, por eso le digo, memorize things is easier. All right, everyone, let's move on. We have come to Harry. So, last class you saw this, and I believe that you copied this, right? Or I'm not sure. So let's see, Laura, can you please read the first chapter that we have in there? Okay, comparison. We use ER for short words, one syllable. A small, smaller, cheap, cheaper, large, larger, hot, hotter. All right, excellent, there you have it. So this is telling us that we, with these specific ones, we can use ER, right? And it's also telling us that if you have one syllable, you can use ER. What about the second chapter that we have, Ileana? Can you help me, please? Okay, we also use ER. For syllable worse than what and in why why I E R lucky looker happy happier early earlier easy easier right excellent so there you have it it's telling you if you end the word with why you can just easily R I E R, right? No, you're only going to use E R. You're only going to use I E R. Y vamos a terminar la clase a las 12 de la noche. <laughs> ah, just kidding, just kidding. <laughs>
All right. So let's check what else do we have in here. <clears throat> uh, Patricia, help me please with the first paragraph. Uh, we use more for longer words, two syllables or more. Handsome, more handsome. Nervous, more nervous. Expensive, more expensive. Serious, more serious. Excellent, there you have it, pretty good. So, as you might notice, it's telling you that if you have longer words, two syllables or more, you are able to use more. The word more, okay? And please remember that specifically with these adjectives, you cannot say, uh, my brother is handsome here. That doesn't exist, okay? My brother is my, more handsome than my father, let's suppose, right? So there you have it. This is when you can use it. Let's go with the second paragraph. Kevin, please. A few adjectives and adverbs have irregular comparative forms. Good, better, bad, worse, far, farther, little, less. Okay, so there you have it. Now in here, the thing is changing, right? Completely. It says a few adjectives and adverbs have irregular comparative forms. You know that irregular is when they change, right? So for example, instead of saying good, you, for example, you won't say I'm good than yesterday or I'm gooder than yesterday. No, 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 you cannot say that. You can say I'm better than yesterday, right? The same applies or the same rule applies to far, bad and little, right? And this is not part of the platform, but yes, I wanted to expand your knowledge in this, right? I wanted to expand your knowledge in this, and that's why I brought it in here. I believe that it's pretty important to recognize how to use them, when to use them, and to remember that you have more than one option, right? It's not always going to be like expensier, the easier, all right? So now you're learning that you have more options to express something. Let me know when you're finished in here because then you're going to practice. Finish, miss. <clears throat> Thanks, pretty good. Finish. Right, so let's go to the practice side. Uh, Adriana, please tell me the instructions. Practice time. Instructions. One, work individually. Two, create at least two sentences using the comparison adjectives. Three, use any adjective that you want. Excellent, there you have it, right, everyone? So let's work. Today, I don't want one, I need two, all right? Let's check how are we doing with this. <clears throat>
Excellent. Very good. Uh, by the way, my dear students, before leaving the class, I wanted to ask you something. How are we doing with the platform? How are we? Let's see. Um, very for good. example, very good. Uh, for example, I was just about to tell your example, Patricia. I saw that you finished the platform. That's great. Very good. So what about the other ones? How are we doing? Como vamos? Yo, yo no he hecho el meeting, pero, pero Oh, wait, Kevin, creo que su audio se congeló. No sé si solo yo lo escuché así o también a ustedes. Yeah, okay. Pues si no me estoy volviendo loca yo. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so at least he, I believe that he said something like he couldn't finish, right? What about you, Adriana? How are you doing? Because I saw your face and you were like, Eh, yo he tenido problemas con, con, de, con la sección de time. Eh, es que escuchar unos, unos audios y llenar una parte que es bien, que bien larga. Entonces me he visto varias opciones y me he quedado en esa, pero he ido avanzando en lo que sí he podido y lo que no he completado es lo que no, no, no entiendo. Voy por la sección 4, 4, 2, creo. Creo. I'm going to cover some topics related to that, but um, until we finish the whole course, 
like the two last class, I'm going to cover some topics related to, to time. But <clears throat> it's good, Adriana, if you're moving forward, it's good because you're not staying just in one place. But Adriana, if you need help with the exercises, let me know, okay? You can text okay. me and let me know so I can help you in that way you are not staying behind. You're not staying behind, you are moving forward. The same thing for Nancy, Laura, Ileana, in case that you need any, and Jocelyn and Veronica. If you need any help with the exercises, let me know, all right? Right, now I have Patricia's uh, sentences in here. I like the cheaper cell phone, <laughs> all right? The English class is getting more and more interesting, all right? Very good. Good that you feel that way. <laughs> all right, girls. Now, don't, don't believe that I'm forgetting about your sentences. Tomorrow, we are going to start the class with your sentences. So you have time to make sure if they are correct, but if you want to change something or look for more information, you have time, okay? So we're going to see tomorrow, girls. I'm going to see you tomorrow at the same time, right? All right, everyone. Goodbye. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, everybody. Have a good, good night. night.